Shut up and sit down. Welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to start and manage a dedicated server for MX bikes using the Resolute MXB server manager tool that I just released. Uh, this tool, I created it to make it easier for all you users to uh, configure and run dedicated servers for MX bikes. Uh, it's a little complicated to get it running uh, without this tool, but uh, uh, I went ahead and, and tried to make it as easy as possible for you guys. So let's go through the whole process of how you download, install this, get MX Bike set up to run a dedicated server. All right, so the first thing, first thing you need to do, go check out my post in the MXB forums. I'll have the link in the description of this video. Uh, go ahead and review it. Uh, please, please download the manual. Uh, it's also in the installer. Um, and when you're using the app, you can just go to the help menu and you can see it. Download it, review it, and make sure this is something you want to use. There's 24 pages of how to do this, including all of the setup, how you're going to do this, uh, downloading MX Bikes, the standalone version, setting your mods folder, how to install the application. Okay, so let's let's step back. The first thing you need to do, we are going to install MX Bikes. Go ahead, download it from, uh, you need the standalone version. Uh, and the reason you want the standalone version when you're running a dedicated server is because if you're running these dedicated servers on your own PC, you still want to use your Steam version uh, to run this game um, and play at the same time that you're running a dedicated server. Uh, so go ahead, download it from one of these three. Uh, if you still have problems, some people having some problems downloading the executable the installer from, from this page, uh, go to the forums. There's like a beta 15 B one. Uh, sometimes you find people that post other mirrors for the download, but download that install it. Just one note when you're installing, uh, the MX bike standalone, you don't have to put it in program files. Uh, you can put it wherever you want on a, another hard disk, um, where your, maybe your mods are. Uh, if you, if you do install it in the program files, um, you're going to have to run our server manager as administrator, uh, because we're copying some configuration files in there and that, that requires some elevated privileges. So I recommend you just install it somewhere else, not in program files. So you don't have to worry about running as admin, but I'll show you how to set that up, uh, regardless. Right now, once you've installed MX bikes, the standalone version, go ahead, go to the install directory. You're going to want to look for MX bikes.ini. You're going to want to edit that in a text editor. And what you want to come down to is the mods folder. Go ahead and set this to the path, uh, where your mods are. If you're using the default Pibozo, uh, mods folder, um, you haven't changed it. You can just leave that blank. And that should pick up your mods from the documents Pobozo mods folder. Uh, but if you have changed it for your Steam version, uh, you will want to change this one as well to point to the same same mods folder. So just be aware that's that's where you need to go to do that. All right, now you've gotten the standalone MX bikes installed. Now it's time. Go ahead and download the installer for the server manager, go ahead and do that. And then we're going to run through the install of the application. All right. Once you've downloaded it, go ahead, extract the zip file. And it's going to open this folder. You can, again, you can read me the manuals in there as well, but what you want to do, just hit the setup. If you get this, just run it anyways. I promise it's not going to harm your PC. You're going to run through the installer. Go ahead, install it wherever you want. And we're done. Now you should see something on your desktop and you should see something over here. Go ahead and launch it. 
All right, like I mentioned before, um, if you have installed your MX Bikes uh, standalone version in the program files, it might require elevated privileges for us to copy files, the configuration files into that folder. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to go to the install directory of your server manager, right click on the executable, and we can go to properties, compatibility, and then what you're wanting to do is run this program as administrator. So it'll start up as administrator every time. Hit apply, okay, and you can go ahead and close that. Now when you're starting the application each time, uh, you may get a prompt like this, uh, depending on your user account control settings in Windows 10. If you see this, just go ahead, click the yes button. Uh, what's happening when the application starts up, it needs to make a little change, a configuration setting uh, to allow the client server communication uh, within the application itself. So go ahead and do that and hit the yes button. And then the application will start up for the first time. So when the application starts up for the first time, you're going to see this message. Uh, we need to set the MX Bikes install and the mods directory uh, to be able to use it. So let's go ahead to file settings and you can see the install directory and the mods directory is currently blank. So we are going to go ahead and set that. We're in D, games, MX Bikes. And that's where the install is and our mods, D, games, mods, MX bikes. There we go. The settings are set and you will now see that the server window has popped up. So we can go ahead and close our settings. All right. So as you can see, we have a, a uh, blank server connection here. We are connected to our local host. That is your machine. Uh, you can change that to whatever you want. And the server key, you don't have to really worry too much about that. Uh, that's more used when you're using this to connect to a remote uh, server to manage your dedicated servers. You don't have to have a remote server. You can run these on your own PC. Uh, you just need the extra memory to host as many uh, server instances as you want. Uh, so again, the track list, these are all the tracks that are installed on in your mods folders. So go ahead, you can install new ones. Uh, while this is running, hit the refresh button, it'll reload the track list for you. All right, so next step, we need to actually create our server so we can configure it. So go ahead to the add new server button. And as you can see, we have some start, restart, stop and display buttons. Can't click them right now because we have to do a couple things first at a minimum to start the server. The first thing we want to do is uh, give our server a name. You can name it whatever you want and you can see it rename this. This is what gets displayed in the world browser uh, when you're in MX Bikes the game. Uh, so name it something appropriately. And the next thing you can do is you go down to event and you have to select at least one track. So we'll go down here, select Asin. You can select up to 10 tracks, different layouts. Uh, if the track supports it, uh, you have to type those in by default. Um, but what happens if you select more than one track is at the end of race two, um, after a set amount of time, the server will reset and it should go to the next track, so on and so on down the list, and it'll just keep going and going and going. Uh, select your categories that you want, and let's see what else. That is the minimum that you need to do. Now, once you've done that, the start button should show up. Go ahead, hit the start button. You'll see the status is running on port 54211. And we open the window there. And this is what the dedicated server looks like when you're running it. Uh, just gives you a little bit of information. As people connect to this game, uh, you'll see their information pop in here. You'll see the status of the event, if it's practice, 
race one, race two, uh, if people quit, join, etc. Uh, that's what you'll see here. Now, let's say uh, you want to stop it. You can either stop it by going to the uh, quit button here. Go ahead and quit. That stops it. Um, just one thing to note when you're over here and you have this window, if you hit the X button, that does not close the application. It doesn't quit it. It just closes this window down to your server tray and you'll see it there. So if you're ever wondering where your, where your window's at, you can't find it you hit the X button, it still says it's running. It's like, well, you didn't really close it. Hit display, hit quit, or come over here, hit the stop button, and uh, that will stop it for you. Let's say you're running it and you wanna restart it. Uh, you make some changes. You can either stop it. Uh, you can uh, you know, make some changes to this, do that. If you hit restart, it'll redo the configuration for you and restart the server again. Uh, for a different practice time. You can see we changed that to 20 minutes now. Uh, that's the fast way. Uh, up to you how you want to use it. I'm going to go over some of these settings uh, fairly quickly for you. Uh, just a quick explanation of what I know they do. Again, you can read about all of this in the MXB forums. Uh, Pobozo has all the documentation there of, of what each thing means. Uh, I kind of, they're pretty much self-explanatory if you, if you think about it, if you played the game for any amount of time. Uh, but let's go ahead and go through this. Uh, so again, the, my, the name, pretty self-explanatory, that's what gets set in the world browser. Uh, the password, this is the password you give for people to join your session if you want to lock it down so only certain people can. The admin password. Now, this is the password that you will use if you want to connect to that session in game and be able to administer the server there. Uh, you know, change settings, etc. Uh, so go ahead and put that in. Um, so when you're connected, go ahead and put that password in instead of the general password uh, if if you even have one. Max clients. That's how many people you want to allow into the game. Again, that's also dependent on how many pits and how many gates are on each track. Uh, general safety is about 24. Uh, you can put whatever you want though, up to 40, more than that, uh, depending on the track again. Bandwidth, very high. This is supposed to be, it's probably not really used in the game, but defaults are very high. Everybody has pretty fast internet now. Uh, max ping, is it generally a good idea? Leave this at zero, um, that's no limit. If you set a ping limit, even if you set it to 300 milliseconds, uh, when people connect to the game, sometimes their ping is very high uh, as the game is uh, establishing the connection with everybody. Um, so you could be kicking people out of the game that don't really have a high ping, but it's just the way that the game is, is displaying their ping at that time for that short amount of time. Uh, so again, leave it at zero. Uh, police it a different way, I think. Uh, polls disabled all. You can disable all polls on your server so nobody can keep on requesting to reset the track or go back to practice uh, if you want to do that. Polls disabled during races. So you can, you can still allow polls, but if a race starts and you want to disable the polls so people aren't spamming polls while you guys are racing, you can go ahead and turn that option on. Really just a simple click like that. That means it's on location, not really used. That's just for information. Uh, message of the day. My message of the day, put whatever you want. This is what shows up in chat when people are uh, connecting to your server. Back over to the event. Uh, right, so like I mentioned, you need to put at least one track in here. Um, if it has a layout, an alternate layout, uh, really there's only a few that have alternate layouts right now, uh, such as... Uh, the JS7 compound, it has a national track, the supercross, a couple supercross tracks, I think. Uh, so you can set it. Um, if you're not using the default, set it right here. You've got to type it in. That would be the exact folder name that's in the track folder itself. I'll leave that up to you guys. Pick all the categories you want. If you don't have any, um, it just sets the lobby to open. 
Uh, always a good idea though, to limit the amount of categories because that limits the amount of bikes that people can, uh, select. And it also helps out with just the loading into the game. And when people connect, it doesn't have to load all those different models and textures for all of those bikes. All right. Uh, the name is optional. Um, I'm not actually sure where this gets displayed if it does, uh, but you can put whatever you want in there and it might have something to do with when the uh, settings are, the event results are, are stored. Uh, but again, that's optional and allowed to bikes. This is new in beta 15. You can put a list of the bikes that you want to limit your lobby to. So instead of categories, you could actually just limit this to like the 150 SX uh, if you just want to have a 150 race. Um, that's it. In the future, I'll have a nice uh, category list for you to select from all the bikes. But for right now, you just type it in with uh, slashes between each one. Uh, the class open. This is the ratings that are on Pabozo's uh, stats website. It's not currently in use too much because the stats were only previously working for the MSN bikes, MSM bikes. Uh, when the new OEM pack for beta 15 is released, all the bikes will be registered. And as people start doing their uh, races and things, I believe that they should then um, start accumulating results for those bikes. Uh, on the tracks and then you, you'll actually see your rating uh, going up and down. So you could in the future use this to limit people um, with a certain rate, certain rating uh, to your server. Uh, but for now, best case, just leave it as open. Going over to the race, uh, disable collisions. If you want to make this an open and practice server, that's where you would do it. A quick race. Uh, again, you got to pay attention to what some of these, uh, labels say. So when it's a quick race, it says all sessions except the warm up and race two are skipped. So just, just be aware there's extra things in here. Uh, I default it to a time race plus extra laps. Uh, you can change this to percent of full length plus two laps timed race, or just the plain old laps, which was, uh, the default in, uh, beta 14. Uh, whether they want sighting lap, warm up, race length, race minutes, how many extra laps, how many race laps, restart delay. Uh, the restart delay, this is after the race two is done. This is uh, how soon it will restart the server um, once that is and then go into the next, the next track if you have more than one track or reset the deformation, uh, things like that. Uh, the weather. Uh, if you want to put this on realistic, it will use the probabilities that the track designer put in, uh, you know, 40% cloudy, 10% rain, etc. That's what that is used for. Otherwise, uh, this is the default that usually everybody has, but you can change it to whatever you want. Now, just to note for all of you Americans out there, temperature is in Celsius. Uh, if you change that to something like 75 Fahrenheit, you think it's Fahrenheit. That's actually 150 degrees Fahrenheit because it's 75 Celsius. You can do it for an experimentation. It's pretty funny. The tires will just start to spin. It's like they're melting. Uh, it's like you're riding on ice. Pretty cool. You can do some two wheel drifts, but remember it's in Celsius. Hardcore. If you want to force first person mode, uh, turn off all rider aids. Limited tire sets. We don't have to worry about that in MX bikes. Uh, really. Um, at least I don't think so. Deformation. Uh, this is where, if you want to go crazy, um, set this to whatever you want. If you want 20 deformation for the huge ruts, which pretty much is unwritable. Uh, if you're running race servers, uh, you're going to have the server up for a long time. Most of the time, people are setting it down to 0.3. So that's 30% deformation just so it doesn't deform as much. Um, you know, some of the tracks that deformation just doesn't work really well. Uh, so that just kind of limits the amount of deform 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 50% deformation. That's a, some good settings for you to do. Um, whether you want this auto reset or not. Uh, so after each session, after your practice qualifying each race, you can set that. So deform is automatically reset. 
dynamic surface don't really have to worry about this in mx bikes but if you had asphalt uh, like supermoto track or something uh, this would be your you know your rubber building up on the track your default groove uh, that would um, be reset or not to that so don't really have to worry about that too much in mx bikes right your player list player list this is your band band players or who you want to allow the whitelist and blacklist uh, you can look on the forum post with the, with the, uh, documentation from Pibozo on how to set up that file. You need the player's GUID, uh, to put that in there in the future. I'll have a little bit nicer, uh, selection and way for you guys to do that. Uh, but for now you need to have the file. This file has to be put into the MX bikes install directory. So you're standalone, make a text file, put it in there. Then here, put the name of that text file. Export, if you want your results to be exported, uh, this is if you're doing a race series, uh, export it, you know, uh, HTML or XML versions, and what directory you want that uh, to be put in. This would be in your install directory again, I believe. Uh, so make something called export a folder there, put that there, uh, put a prefix. Um, if you want that prefix to uh, so you know which race this was for. Uh, so if it's, you know, round five or something, put RND five, uh, just so you know uh, what it's for. Incremental, you set the results are ex exported at the end of each session. So end of your practice, qualifying, race one, race two, etc. Your replay, if you want a replay to be saved of the whole event, same thing. You can turn that on. Uh, set the directory where it should be saved. Again, I think that must exist in the MX Bikes install directory, and also set a set a prefix of that uh, so you know what is happening. Live. This is a little bit advanced. Uh, you have to be able to do some programming to do this. Um, this will actually send. Uh, live information like the live results uh to a different application uh i can't explain that here how to do that um you're gonna have to do some programming on your own but essentially as the race is going on mx bikes your server could be spitting out uh all the current race data the live live event data to you and you could be displaying that somewhere like in obs uh, or uh, just capturing the data a different way on a website and remote admin, uh, I won't explain this too much. You'll have to look on the, the forums for the documentation on that. But if you enable that, you set a password and a port, you are able to then send remote commands to chat with people, kick people, start things without even being logged in to the uh, server itself. Hopefully in the future, I'll get some remote admin uh, functions built into this application uh, to give you a little bit more. Uh, control without actually having to join your remote server that is it for starting your server really configuring it uh it's not too hard like i said there's just two things you have to do by default is set your name and set one track at least okay so let's actually start up our server again and let's make sure that it's listed as a dedicated server in the server browser in mx bikes the game so let's go ahead and start it i'm going to actually just put an underscore here so it sorts to the top top of the list uh, let's go ahead and start that it is up and now let's go over to mx bikes the game and let's make sure it is there all right let's come over here let's refresh this and let's look for our there it is my dedicated mxb server at asin it's definitely what we have there um, i'm just going to point this out this is showing no ping right now now i have tried everything uh to get a ping to show because i'm running this on my own machine i've tried turning off firewalls i've tried uh port forwarding opening ports on my router uh whatever i did i could not get a ping to work coming here to this server so some people might have problems connecting 
I can't help you with that. That's really a Pobozo question. Uh, other people uh, in the Discord or on the forums maybe could help you. But just note, most people still will be able to connect to your server. Uh, they won't see a ping, but once they get in game, if you look at the chat, uh, their pings will show up. Uh, so no problem with that. Anyway, guys, that's how you run a dedicated server with MX Bikes, uh, the Resolute MXB server manager. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the application. Hope it helps you out. Uh, remember, running a dedicated server, nothing real big about it. If you need any support on this application, uh, join the Discord. The link is in the description. Um, and I will help you out as much as I can. Right, guys? Thanks a lot for your support. Hit the like button. Leave me some comments. And I will catch you on the next one.